This was just brought to my attention by a viewer. And uh, Zanzis is his name. Z-A-N-Z-E-S. And, um, you know, I, I've shown you how you can get the number of lines in your terminal by using tput, like so. Oh, you gotta spell things right. 48, no, it's not, sorry, number of lines, but a number of columns or characters uh, width of your terminal screen. You can also echo dollar sign and use the system variable of columns, which outputs 84 as well. Um, but came across an issue that I hadn't noticed before. You figure it work in the uh, bash environment here, but the columns does not seem to work in a script. Let's check it out real quick. We'll create a script here. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor and I'll just call it test.sh. We'll get in here and add our shebang here as we always do. And I'll just paste that echo and dollar sign capital columns for our system variable. We'll save that, make it executable, and run it. You notice that we just get a blank line. It doesn't give us any output, which causes a problem also. In the tutorial, I was showing how to make a dividing line. So let's uh, change this up a little bit. We're going to use printf. And I already explained this in the tutorial, so I'm just going to go through it real fast. We're going to use printf to format the screen. And, oh, I'm typing things all sorts of wrong now. I need to be looking at what I'm doing here. I'm going to quickly just uh, undo, 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 undo. Okay. Got to go into edit mode. Okay, so printf to format the output. And we're going to give it a percent. Asterisk S, close our quotations there, columns, and then we're going to pipe that into TR, and we're going to put empty space inside two quotations, and we're going to say equals. Now, typing this in the command line gives you a dividing line. If we save this and run this script again, nothing. And that's due to the issue of using the column system variable. Once again, uh, please, if you know why, uh, it doesn't work in scripts. Uh, comment below because uh, most of the other system variables do. So, easy fix. We're going to say dollar sign and then parentheses right here. Once again, got to go into edit mode. Dollar sign parentheses. And we'll just put our tput command like so. Now you have to have tput installed, which seems to be on most uh, modern uh, full desktop distros. I can't speak for every distro. Uh, but that will output... Uh, the width, which will be replaced in here, but I already explained that in the other tutorial. But this is just an update video, and there we go. We have a dividing line when we run this script. I apologize for that, and once again, I don't know why that works in the environment, but not in the script. But that was a simple fix, and I hope that it works for you. And I thank you for watching, and please have a great day, and visit our website, and there are links in the description. Have a great day.